How's it going kids? Daniel here, you're watching Daniel Tech. And today I got a slightly different video for you guys as you can tell by the title. And that is because I'm doing an updated version of a video I have already filmed two years ago. And the video is how to remove a passcode over iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Alright, so the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have asked me if this method is still valid. And even though I told them it is, they want to see it. So I'm recording this video again, this is mid-2015, we are in July right now, and I'm recording this, I'm going to do it in my iPhone 9, uh, in my iPhone 6, uh, iOS 9 beta 4, so that's the newest you can get right now. And uh, I'm going to show you this works, I'm gonna, it works in iOS 8, it works in iOS 7, it works in iOS 6 from the first iOS until iOS 9 beta 4 which is the current version and even if you're watching this video in 2018 and we're using iOS 12 uh, this is still gonna work alright so uh, let's go ahead and jump in okay guys let's go ahead and get started but before we do so I wanna tell you a few things first of all is the only purpose of this video is to remove a forgotten passcode of your own personal device okay so if you have an iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad that's yours and you forgot your passcode alright but if you if you found a device on the street or if you stole it which is even worse don't do it alright give it to the cops okay this is for your personal use so okay I got this off my chest it's on you second of all you're gonna lose all your data Okay, if you have your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Touch backed up to the cloud or backed up to your computer, no problem because then you can resync everything. But if you don't have anything backed up, which I don't believe anybody does, then you're gonna lose everything. But that's the only way to do it. I'm sorry, but that's the only way. Third of all, you're gonna need a computer. Could be a Mac, a PC, or a Linux, but you're gonna need a computer. And as I told you before, this works with every device on every firmware. Right now, I'm running iOS 9 beta 4. So let's just go ahead and get started. I have my phone right here, iOS 9 beta 4. I'm going to need to, I have a passcode, as you guys can see, and let's say I forgot it. So I'm going to hold the power button, and I'm going to turn it off. That's it. So iPhone is turning off in iOS 9. It doesn't show the spinning wheel anymore. But let's just wait a couple seconds to make sure it's off. So, uh... After that, you're going to need to have your iPhone cable plugged up to the computer. So, the other end is plugged up, this is the other end. Make sure it's plugged to the computer. So, what you're going to need to do is hold the home button and then plug to your iPhone. That's it. Keep holding. And then you're going to see the Apple logo. Sorry, the iTunes logo. So, you can release the home button right now and put your phone on the desk. And then you're going to see that there is a problem with the iPhone, iPhone, it requires it to be updated or restored. So you're going to put update or restore, it doesn't matter, let's just go with update. And then it's going to say if, you can, if your iPhone can be updated you'll need to restore it just to factory settings. So let's actually come back and cancel and just put restore iPhone, it's, it's better. So just hit restore and then restore and update which is the same thing it's just iTunes is kinda stupid so then restore and update so what it's gonna do is download the software the latest version and it's gonna do it it's gonna restore and update for you I'm running iOS 9 beta 4 right now and it's not an official version of uh, the iOS so then you ca I cannot get back to iOS 9 just right now I have to go to iOS uh, beta I'm uh, sorry iOS 8.4 I have already downloaded it, so that's why it's already preparing and restoring and everything. But if I didn't, it would start downloading right now. But the process is the same, you just have to wait until it downloads and then it's going to do exactly that. Okay? So then leave your phone plugged, and then you're going to see the Apple logo. Let's see if it focuses, and you can see the status bar right there. So then you're going to have to wait a little bit, and then it's going to do all the process on its own. So again, it's going to update to the latest official version which now is 8.4 but could be iOS 9, iOS 10, iOS 11 if you're watching this in whatever, 2017 or something so waiting for iPhone, let's wait a couple minutes and then I'm, come back, I'm coming back in a bit, alright? okay guys it's done, it took me around 4 to 5 minutes and as you guys can see you're prompted with the activate iPhone uh, screen right there as if you just got it brand new 
on my phone I have the same thing so we have the first screen where you can just like select your language and do everything as if your phone is brand new same thing with iPad or iPod Touch. So you're just gonna do the setting, the, the set, the setting it up, putting your Apple ID and everything else, and then you're good to go. You have a brand new iPhone or iDevice. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you you liked it. It gave me a lot of hard work to do it. So thank you very much. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and everything you can do to help me, like sharing and stuff. If you subscribe, you're gonna be notified on our YouTube homepage when I post a new video. So that's pretty cool, right? So then please make sure to do that, and I see you guys in the next one.